Hello everybody, E here. Welcome back to another book review. Um, now that I have more time, I'm going to be splitting up reviews instead of doing the big chunks of reviews that I had been doing at the beginning of the year. Um, I'll probably go back and reshoot individual videos for this series, for the John Conley, Charlie Parker series. I, I, I did the first, like, two or three I did those in individual videos, and then I did four and five as uh, the mashup kind of deal, all the stuff that I had read that, that week, that month, whatever. Um, but this one, we're back to the individual reviews. So today we're talking about John Connolly's The Unquiet. Uh, this has one of the best prologues of the series. It really got me attached to uh, one of the new characters um, that... The ominous, the, the feeling, the ominous feeling that Connolly conveys in the opening prologue chapter, whatever you want to call it, uh, is truly unsettling, and I really, really enjoyed it. And then the book takes a lull when it gets back to uh, Charlie Parker, and there's not too much uh, Lewis and Angel, so it kind of dragged uh, as he was building up all these different uh, connecting points that he would use toward the end of the book. And then Lewis and Angel came back and all was good. Uh, there's also a uh, very, de there's a big decrease in the supernatural activity in this book. This is a very plain detective story for the most part. Um, we do bump into some rather sketchy characters. Uh, another character from a novella has, has popped back up. So I'm interested to see where all that leads. Uh, with this one, I think my favorite part of this book was the story. It's my favorite of the stories only because the uh, the plot of the story, I don't want to give too much away. Uh, I had no idea what I was going in for. I had no idea what I was going to get. But one of the, the plot of this one, I truly appreciated. Uh, it's a topic that I've covered many times in my own work. And uh, it's something that I think needs to be talked about more. Uh, it, it could be... Every single book could have it, and I still think it needs to be talked about more. But Connolly is on point, as always. I read this book months ago. Uh, I have taken a break on my my journey through the Charlie Parker. That I'm on The Reapers, which was my most anticipated book, because it's specifically from Angel and Lewis's perspective. Or maybe just Lewis's. I don't know. I didn't get too far into it. But... Um, I was really looking forward to that one, but that one is really dragging for me, and I'm not sure um, why. I don't know if it's Lewis and Angel's interactions with Charlie that make the Charlie Parker books so great. Um, I don't know, but I'm, I'm kind of stuck on that one. So, Or maybe I'm just burned out on the series, so I'm going to take a while. I'm going to read some, some dumber fiction, some smarter fiction, all that stuff. Try to cleanse my palate, and then I'll jump back into it, probably binge the, the last... Uh, well, no, it'd probably be ten books. I doubt I'm going to do ten books, but I'll probably do another, you know, four or five, and then finish on. He's got a prequel coming out called Dirty South that I had n no idea about. I don't know if I'm going to be getting a review copy from uh, Atria Publishing or not. I do hope so. So, cross your fingers and toesies, please. Anyways, so I'm giving this one. This is another solid five. Uh, as far as story is concerned, it is my favorite story in the Charlie Parker universe so far which is odd because it doesn't have the supernatural aspects that I loved in the other books. or not, It's not as heavy. There is definitely supernatural stuff going on, but it's not as heavy-handed as it was in the other books. So, um, have you read Connolly's The Unquiet? Have you read any of the Charlie Parker books? Let me know down there in the doobly-doo. But until next time, I have been E, you have been you, this has been another book review. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye!